Hi guys, Tech James here. So this one's just going to be a chill video. I'm going to show you guys how to listen to MP3 audio files on your Nintendo Switch. So basically, just use your Nintendo Switch as like an iPod just to listen to music on. So the first thing you want to do just to get this working is make sure you hold your 3DS's power button, wait for the menu to come up, and when it appears, go to power options and power off. So now what you want to do is take out your Switch's SD card, connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so on your computer I will leave a link to the NX Play homebrew file in the description of this video, and it's actually a GitHub page, so as you can see it's still on its first release, but all you want to do is just click nxplay.nro and that will begin downloading the file you will need for your homebrew launcher. So then once that has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder, and I've got my two MP3 files which I want to listen to on my Nintendo Switch already in my downloads folder. So it's up to you where you get your songs from. Obviously it's really cool if you support your artists that you enjoy, but that's entirely up to you. So the first thing you want to do is actually create a folder that's called NX Play. So I'm just going to copy this just to save time. So right click, new folder, call it NX Play and just leave it as that. And now you want to drag your MP3 files into that NX Play folder. So once you've got NX Play and NX Play.NRO, go on your Nintendo Switch's SD card and drag and drop both of these into the Switch folder. Now once that is done, we are now done with the SD card on our PC, so we can now put it back into our Nintendo Switch and I will show you guys what to do next. So back on your Switch, simply just put back in your micro SD card and now just boot into your custom firmware. I will be using the SXOS for this video. And all you do is just boot custom firmware. Right guys, so back on your Nintendo Switch, you want to open up your album. And now you want to go to Homebrew at the top if you're using SXOS like me, or just open up your Homebrew menu. So now you want to find the app. Um, here it is, NX Play, just tap on it and it will load up. So it's a very simple app. Basically, you can use the joystick right here. It's gone on the About section. This is where you play audio, or you can go on Playable Files, and this tells you all the information you will need to learn how to play these files. So it puts MP3, WAV, OGG, FLAC, MOD, and I think many more coming soon, it says. So let's play some music right now. So if you scroll down, go to on About section, you can actually select songs using the other joystick. So let's just play a random song. You just press A to play it. And then what you do is you use the D-pad buttons at the side here, and you can actually increase the volume. So as you can see, it's right down. Now if I start to turn it up, you guys will actually start to hear the song. So if you want the song to stop playing, you actually just press B. And now you can select your other song and then just press A to play it. So it's a bit confusing, um, but grey is actually what's selected. Um, so obviously if you just press B, as long as it's grey and you press A on it, then it will start playing. I think that's just kind of like a glitch. But yeah, very simple. And you just press plus or minus if you want to exit. Now the only bad thing about this is you can't play it in like the background of your Nintendo Switch, or you can't play it while you're playing games. But it's alright if you just want to you know, listen to some music and you're not on your PC or you don't have your phone around. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you